and welcome to PPS Primo Charts. This video is about the alerts. For now, PTS Primo Charts has an alert manager which is on the second row of icons. Uh, you can see the little bill uh, here. Just click on it and a window will pop up and that is the alert manager. Uh, if you click on add, you can start adding your alert. So you can put a name on it. So you want an alert for, let's say for spy and uh, you want to enable it, just check the box here on the right hand side and you can tell uh, the condition. So you want a spy uh, to give you um, an alert when it crosses over on bar close. It can be, you know, at any time, uh, but we're going to do that on bar close and you are going to choose a value. So let's say that SPY is now uh, $455 and you want that alert to be uh, precisely at that price, which is pretty much the higher high, um, maybe a little bit smaller, $54.50. And you can add a play sound or a pop-up window. So when it reaches that price, it's going to do that. We're going to click on OK. And the condition on the left, I forgot to um, to uh, highlight this. So we want a spy, OK? Um, that the close price uh, closes on 44.50. We're going to click OK. And that's our first alert. So you can uncheck SPY if you don't want to enable it. You can uncheck it if you want to enable it. Or you can delete it here with the X or edit it as you consider it necessary. So I'm going to put you know one more for the lowest low, which is 43, um, 433 and 01. So I'm going to add that alert. Um, so it's going to be a SPY low, it's a different name and that the close price is below uh, or crosses below in this case uh, this value or of 433.01 and it's going to play a sound or show a pop-up click ok on that one and highlight it or check it if you want it to be active we're going to click on ok and what I'm going to do now is like make, um, I'm going to have like a smaller time frame, okay? And uh, see what is the movement of the spy right now. So I'm going to put an alert, a very tight alert. Um, so now what I'm going to do is change this one, the first one. So now the closing price uh, must cross above, uh, we're going to put 450.75. 50.75 and click OK and then the spy low we're gonna edit it and we're gonna make that the closing price be uh, 450.55 so it's kind of a tight range there uh, click OK and click OK here so just we're gonna wait and see if we get an alert uh, for the that tight range and that's it that's how you place the alert